let's say, when Dietrich Belfort fought uh, Keith Herring. Look at that. He's going to get a stiff neck just looking it's, him in the it's, eye. It's a stare up. It's going to stare down. Right. <laughs> Very good, Basito. Very good. Score! Here we go to go. I expect this match to be a lot like watching the Discovery Channel. <laughs> this is a really, really a wild match. We go to places where no man has done before. This is going to be. I said it before and I'll say it again. Shoji being the David versus uh, Simon Shoji Goliath. Let's see if he needs that slingshot. We know he needs a fast shot as in takedown. Yeah, but it wouldn't hurt him to bring a gun also. I think Shoji should circle to the right because it's Sammy Schultz's right knee that is the dangerous weapon. Yeah, Schultz should only strike a uh, punch. I think it's dangerous. He, uh, if Shoji goes for a takedown, he should <laughs> defend the takedown first and then goes for strikes to the head. It may surprise Schultz if Shoji went with an overhand right to a low kick. He's, Shoji's got to get Schilt out of his game plan. But Schilt, really, if you think about it, there's never... Oh, left! It was, it was a high kick. It would have been a rib kick for most people, but... Oh! He's got he's got a body lock and Schilt going for the guillotine choke. Yeah, Gilt's got... Uh, Schilt got some uh, thin forearms, and he can sink in that front choke like he did many times in Pankers. He's got a good front choke. I don't think it's going to happen with uh, Onakira Shoji because he's a submission artist. Oh, this is great. Akira Shoji gets the takedown. Now, I didn't expect this. I expected this to be a stand-up fight dictated by Shilt. Shoji in Shilt's guard. Got to be patient here. And what should he do here, Bob? He's exactly doing what he should do. He's, he's uh, bringing uh, Sam Shilt away from the, from the ropes so that he has more space to uh, do his thing. He should try to escape. Okay, uh, there we go. But Sam is very strong. We saw him uh, fight against Pete Williams. He was just holding the hands of Pete Williams in the guard, and Pete couldn't break his grip. So uh, yeah, we have to see if he can break this total grip and pull his left arm out too. Well, I think one thing that gets underestimated is the strength of Shoji. People don't really talk about that, but Shoji has been in there and went the distance with Eagle Book Chanch, and you have to be a strong man to do that. Uh, that's one thing for sure. And he went to this is also with Mark Coleman, like you said before. Uh, it's going to be a very difficult task here for uh, Sam Shield. Well, there's one main thing that we got to remember in here. The Pride Fighting Championships is not just about who is the strongest fighter, but it also comes down to who is the more intelligent fighter and who has the biggest heart. And what bigger heart than a fair show is? Yeah, him and Matsui, you know, these are two, two guys. Yeah, like we always say, I call him the little ego of Chanchin, Akira Soji. A lot of heart. He's actually built a little bit the same. He's a little smaller, less in weight. Now, did you see that? Pete Williams in the Ultimate Fighting Championship could not, oh. could not break the grip of Seven Schultz. But Schultz Oh, no. Schultz is flipped Shoji over. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that Shoji got out of that iron grip of Sammy Schultz there for a second. But yeah. Schultz flipped him over. Yeah, it, uh, uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. It looks like Shoji wants to go for an arm, but I see that he's trapping the right arm of Sam, yeah, and he's going to go for it, I think. Sam got long limbs, you know, everything is long, so he's very vulnerable for arm bars and leg locks. Just to watch out for that. Now, here's the battle of grips. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, and Sammy is going to win that battle, but if he lets go and goes for a strike, Shoji being doing really well at covering up. Yeah, Sam's uh, hands are as big as Shoji's feet, I think. And uh, he just slammed his finger around the wrist. Shilt going for the neck crank there, but Shoji opens the guard up. As he's prepping the arm of Shield, the right arm is going to go for the right arm bar. A real strategic fight here so far, and actually an action pack fight, even though it's been in the guard. Because Shilt is making for the action, so is Shoji. Shoji, I, I, don't, really, I don't think it's possible for him to fight in a dull fight. No, we, we've never seen him in a dull fight. Same as Sakuraba, always spectacular. What are you saying, man? Spectacular. Spectacular. Now, uh, 
shows you got him in the iron grip. Yeah, but he pulled it out. Yeah, double overhook today. It was a good left hand. Yeah, it was. But the stop shows you it's striking. It's going to be difficult. I think to stop it really should be a knee. It should stand on the feet. It should be a knee to the head. Otherwise, it could take a lot of punishment. I think one of the things that Schilt might, might have a problem with is usually he's throwing a knee to someone over six feet tall. Shows you being lower. It's uh, it may be easier for him to bring the knee up, but it may be a problem for him to get the accuracy to get the head because he's so far down. Yeah, maybe it is, but he's good to visualize his solar plexus or something, <laughs> even opponent. Right. So far, Shoji doing a lot more than we may have expected, but Shoji pushing him back, Shoji motioning to him. Shoji probably wants Shoji to engage. Shoji doing the butt scoop here. Oh, Shield should, should kick because he's got so much reach. He should try kicking him in the head. Yeah, he can kick him in the head. But maybe he's afraid of the leg. Okay, oh. that's actually a good call because shows you basically was buying time. Now we got to watch out for those knees, as Boss said. If Shoji goes for a single leg, he's got to go outside his right side. There's that knee, but it misses. And Shoji trying to a body lock. There's oh. another knee. It lands on the arms and oh. knocks oh. Shoji down. That is serious power, folks. It hit Shoji on the arms and down he went. Shoji yeah. definitely outdone standing up there. Oh, yeah. Like I said before, he's got very good control. He's very tall, but he's got very good control over his uh, body, which makes him a very dangerous striker. Well, this uh, fight came as a result of two injuries. Originally, Igor Volchanchin, one of the top heavyweights in the sport from Ukraine, was to fight Semi Shilt, but he injured his shoulder, and Brad Kohler from the United States was going to fight Shoji. So those two gentlemen got injured on short notice, so Shoji decided to take the offer, never back down from the fight, to fight the monster in Semi Shilt. Yeah, you know, talking about old ways of fighter, huh? Samurai's prayer. He's got the fighter out of him. Step in. Igor of Chanchen, at least he has an even weight as uh, Sam Shield. A little less. And Brad Kohler would have been better for Shoji. I think Shoji looks a little confused. He's really got to. Oh, no. That was a hard left knee. Knocked Shoji down. Shoji really has got to use lateral movement when he stands up. Yeah, it's He's got, If I were him, I would, get, I would sprint to the right and make Sammy Schultz start to turn. That's the only way he's gonna be able to trap the leg. If for him to stand right in front of him like this, he can't do this, he's got to actually move fast as he can, but it looks like Shoji may be carrying a few extra pounds in this fight, maybe he tried to bulk up. Uh, Shoji going for a back kick there, really not uh, being effective with the kick. Yeah, the region of Sam's head, arms are longer than Shoji's legs. Oh, and another knee to the head. And you see he's very accurate with those knees. He's knocked out quite a few oh. fighters with those knees, including Guy Mesger, who he fought in a pancreas fight some years ago. Yeah, he knocked out also uh, Funaki with a liver punch. That was also great. Yeah, uh, Soji looks tired right here, uh, a little winded. And Sam is known for his stamina. He can go all the way. If Shoji wanted to get an easy win to get back in the winning streak after picking uh, up two losses, this may have been the wrong fight to do that with. Oh, yeah. oh that's oh. the liver shot again, you see? Oh, Shoji oh. is out. That's it. That's it's it. It's over. It's over. Shoji has been stopped by the behemoth, Semi Schilt, with strikes. Wow. It was the liver shot that set it up. Did you see it? He had a liver shot, he saw him crimping a little bit, then the knee to the head again. Yeah, very accurate. Okay, it was eight minutes, 19 seconds into round one. Uh, Semi Schultz really not surprising us because going into this fight, it would have almost taken a miracle for Shoji to be able to defeat the size of Semi Schultz. But showing the absolute warrior courage and taking the fight at last minute because of the two uh, uh, injuries to the two fighters previously mentioned. There's that left hook, there's that left knee, and that's kind of what then that left hook right there again, and a left kick, and it was left, left, left. One, two, three, four, starting with the left hook to the body, left knee to the head, 
left hook again to the head. Shoji on the way down, and the left kick on the way down really was inconsequential. Shoji was already out. Shoji walking out of the ring a little dejected, but nonetheless stepped in with the Giant, gave it his best shot, and came up on the short end of the stick.